Hi everyone, this is Axod from Axod Designs. In this short video, I'm going to teach you how to fill your employment details in your GigPay account or your Gray account. So, among the uh, the new interface, so of the new way of registering on your GigPay account and your Gray account is filling your employment details, which is quite cumbersome for many people okay so that's why i want to teach you this specifically okay so the first one here is your personal profile i've already filled that in my gig pay uh, my gig pay account i'm actually creating an account for someone you see gig pay dot, uh, dot africa so i think this is quite very easy for you to fill your personal details so you just need your the document they will ask over there is your your utility bill and your statement of account and that's quite easy you can just get your utility bill from maybe after paying pacn or generating a token for your prepaid meter i hope you get that all your waste uh, your waste received and the rest you just want to see your address over there so likewise the second one is your your statement of account so you can get that from your bank so some banks towards the end of every month they will send you your statement of account so you can get it from there just download it even it's it's in image format so you can just snap it and you upload it or you go to your bank you tell them that you know it, your your statement of account and they can help you print it out or send it to your email okay but here we're going directly to that of employment details okay so that's where they would be asking okay let me click on it just click on it you see this is one of the things they will be asking so your offer data or proof of employment your linking profile you are in and, and their likes okay let's start from the beginning so your the employer name is what so i will write the employer name so that you who employed you so i'm creating this account for amazon okay so amazon kdp so i've chosen that so the country is so okay us automatically it has already detected it so then this is the website okay so in that of gray you may need to write it yourself amazon you can just write amazon kdp yourself okay so then the country you know that you will put united states the us okay then the employer website kdp.amazon.com so that's the employer, employer website then the job information you enter your occupation so occupation will just be uh, just put it there that book author so book author so if you are using yours for freelancing you can just put freelancing and any other thing that you want to put okay so then your monthly salary so far you just start you can just pick between fifty dollars to five hundred dollars okay so and then your amazon automatically it has already detected that okay you picked amazon kdp at the at the top here so it's not asking of your amazon kdp proof of payment so amazon kdp proof of payment you know let's say you just started you just want to open your amazon kdp account and that's why you need this gig pay account or you need your gray account enough for you to fill your bank details in your amazon kdp so you won't really have a proof of payment yet because you've not even made a sale not to talk of you've not even uploaded your book not to talk of making a sale so what you can do is uh, just snap your the interface of your account so the interface of your amazon kdp account for them to see okay so here i will click on it so then you choose media and so just click these three horizontal dots for you to go to where your gallery is so i want to go to where my gallery is and i already screenshotted it so I hope um though it's quite very long it be so uh can you bear with me so this is it this is it I've 
snapped so this one so okay let me check well let me check well i just want to go to my gallery so this is my gallery under my screenshot i just screenshotted it okay this is it let me just click on it for you to see you see so this is it like that so i screenshotted my my your account when you under your amazon kdp just go to under uh, your account and you see all these infos there you know there it is where to add your bank account so that's why i just screenshotted it so and my phone is able to screenshot a long a, a uh, i mean a line of things something that is very long my phone can screenshot can screenshot it because it can scroll so as i screenshot even it will be scrolling and it can that's why it's able to scroll can shot something very long like this but if you're sorry for the disturbance so this is it i hope you get that you see you see where your back account is in, under your amazon kdp and all those so that's why you snap it so and that's what i uploaded here so that's what i uploaded here and under the linking profile url so just copy your linking url okay if you don't have a linking account before you can create one okay so let me just show you go to your play store your app store so this is my play store then you type in link in linked in like this then you search for it so i already installed mine this is it so you it tells me to it, it tells me to update but i don't need that so this is the linking if you don't have it installed before just install it and you will just have to log in to register this is my linking okay let me just click on it for you to see if yours is if you just downloaded yours you would need to uh So if you just downloaded the OS, you would need to register, okay, with your email and the rest. But whenever you want to, you know, we need our URL link. Don't forget, that's where we are going. We need the URL link. So just go to this laptop corner. Do you see that? Like a logo here. Just click on it. So when you click on it, you see this is my name. So this jam you. View profile, okay? so just click on view profile so i need to bring your profile after you've already registered and you've logged in okay so you see these 36 connections open to add section beside this add section you see these three dots so you just click on the three dots and share profile via what so share profile via so just just click on it and you'll be able to copy your 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 link in url your link okay so you can just click on copy here but i'm not clicking you know it's not my account that i'm using so it's not my account i'm using so i've already copied the person already sent his url to me so i've just paste okay so this is it so this is the so this is it. i hope you get that so then i click on what save okay just click on save and it's processing good you see employment details updated successfully so that's how to do that then your bank account details i think you know how to go about that so just your you select your bank your account number you can even i think you should be able to choose Ope, pay pay and the rest so Ope. Oh, let me check Pampi. Oh, it didn't bring that. So let's check guarantee. Why is it just? Okay, let's. That's just fine. I just want to just to be sure who that is there, right? so okay op is not there 
so the empampe is not there okay so those two are not there we can see guaranteed trust bank you can choose first bank you see fidelity bank and all others so, so you see guaranteed trust bank and others so don't forget the i made this video specifically for that employment detail and you see we've already bypassed that that employment details we've already uh done it so that's that for now if you like this video don't forget to share to your friends who may have this particular issue also you you subscribe to my channel and don't forget to watch out for more videos from me bye for now